Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at the keyboard shortcut Control A, which will allow us to select all of the contents of a single workbook. So with that, let's get started. Here we have Excel, and again, we have a workbook where we're, perhaps we're tracking the quantity sold, the price, revenue, costs, and profits of an individual item such as ebooks, or maybe we're selling chairs, who knows? We're selling something at 15 euros each. We have it done over four years, and we want to figure out how to select all of the contents in this specific worksheet. So there are going to be a couple ways to do that. The first is going to be if we click somewhere inside of our active region. So this here, column B2 through G7, is our active region is an individual region. And if we select that region or we have our active cell within that region, when we press the keyboard shortcut control A, it would select that entire region. If we wanna select all the cells in our spreadsheet, we would press control A a second time. So again, if we're somewhere within this area, here within the range of B2 through G7, and we hit control A once, it would select that entire data region, we press control A a second time and it would select all of the cells in our worksheet. So we could say give all of the shell, all of the cells, I don't know, a green background or something. Now, if we are not in a specific data region, so say we're outside of this region, then when we press the keyboard shortcut control A, it would automatically default to selecting all the cells. So again, I'm gonna click here. There's no data around this around this specific cell. So when I press Control A, it selects all of the cells. However, when we are in a data region such as this, the first time that we press Control A, it would select all of the items in that data region, and we'd have to press Control A a second time in order to select everything within an Excel worksheet. Now, if you didn't remember the keyboard shortcut Control A, or you're frustrated and you don't wanna use that keyboard shortcut, an alternate way to select all the text is to come up here to the little area right between your leftmost column and your topmost row. So we would come up here between the area that is, I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see, the little area that is between column A and row one. And if we click this little square bracket here, the one that has a gray box, a little gray triangle in the end, when we click that, it will select all of our cells and then once we have all of our cells selected, we could say add no fill, or we could maybe add a thick outside border, which you can't really see, or red text. So that means anytime we would type new text into a cell, assuming that we spelled it correctly, it would be red. So again, in this video, we looked at the idea of how if you wanna select all of the text in a worksheet, it depends whether or not you are actively in a data set. So if you're in a data set, pressing Control A once will select that data set. Now assuming text is part of our data set. And then you press it a second time, it will select the entire worksheet. Whereas if you're outside of a data set, meaning there's no data around you, when you press Control A, Excel will presume that you want to select the entire worksheet. You can then make changes such as adding all borders. So with that, in our next video, we'll look at how to add adjacent cells to our selection within Microsoft Excel. So we'll achieve this by using the shift key and clicking with the left button of our mouse cursor. So if you're interested, we will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.